Hi, hello friends. Welcome to the channel. In today's session, we'll be seeing process planning cost estimation unit one introduction to process planning MCQs. Now, our universities has announced online exams. So, online exams will be conducted in MCQs. First question: Arrange in correct sequence of process planning. Option A: Market research carried, new product generated, PDS developed. Concept design stage, design stage, prototype, trial batch. B. Design stage, concept design stage, prototype, market research, PDS developed, new project idea generated, trial batch. Option C. Trial batch, product idea generated, PDS, market research, concept design stage, design stage, prototype. Option D. Market research carried, new product idea generated, PDS developed, design stage, concept design stage, prototype, trial batch. Option number A is right because market research is first carried, new product idea is generated, then PDF, PDS is developed, concept design stage will be following by NS, then it is followed by design stage, prototype and trial batch. So option A is right. The functions involved in product design and manufacturing is marketing and sales function, design function, manufacturing functions, option D all of these. Because we will be uh, the functions involved in product design and manufacture will be accompanied with man marketing and sales function, design function, manufacturing function and also we will be taking option D all of these. Third question, which of the following is a link between design and manufacturing? Option A, process planning. Option B, inspection. Option C, any one of these. Option D, none of the above. First, we will be having design, then process planning, then manufacturing and inspection. So, we will be taking process planning because it lies between design and manufacturing. First the design is made, then process is planned, then manufacturing, then after manufacturing product is developed, the product will be inspected. Option, uh, sorry, four, the question, the primary parameters affecting the choice of material are function, option A, function, option B, appearance, option C, service factor, option D, all of the above. All other primary factors, functions, appearance, service life, all other primary factors of choosing a material, so we will be taking with all the above. The planning that is concerned with technical details such as engineering and technology issues is process planning. Technic all the technical details comes under uh, process planning. All the logical details, all logistics details that is transportation details will be coming under production planning. So we will be going with process planning option A because technical issue details are given or asked. Question number 6. The planning which is concerned with the logistics issues of making the product is Option A. Process planning. Option B. Production planning. Option C. None of these. Option D. Any one of these. Option A will be uh, taken with the technical issues we saw in the last questions. Option B. Production planning. That is a logistic issues. Transportation of product or the product uh, materials needed. That materials will be take, uh, bringing from different places that will be concerned with production planning so i am going with the option b production planning which approach is modified is a modified version of tra traditional approach of process planning that uses the developed workbook for making a root uh, root sheet is both traditional uh, approach and uh, workbook approach is a manual process planning so this uh, this is con does not comes under variant CAPP it does not come under CAPP system so we will be eliminating C option C and D we will be going with option workbook approach because our workbook approach is more concerned with this definition that is developed by a workbook for preparing a root sheet hence we will be going with workbook approach which of the following is benefits of CAPP? Elimination of human error, production cost reduction, product improve, productivity improvement, all of this. Using computer technology will uh, definitely eliminate the human error, will increase the production cost, 
reducing production cost definitely productive improve productivity is improved so we'll be going with all of these ninth question what forms a link between cad and cam for processing for process planning of a desired part option a computer aided process planning option b traditional approach option c generative capp option d retrieval capp what forms a link between cad and cam traditional approach comes under manual approach so uh, it cannot come under computer aided systems so we will be eliminating option b we have now option a c and d c and d are specific so uh, the correct option for choosing will be computer aided process planning because generative capp also comes under computer aided process planning and retrieval capp also comes under computer aided process planning so we will be going with computer aided process planning option a what are the various types of drawings the various types of drawings are there are three types of drawings that is detailed drawings assembly drawings and combined drawings so we'll be going with all of these the drawings which contain the complete detailed information to enable a single component to be manufactured without reference to other sources is drawings which contain the complete detailed information to enable a single component to be manufactured without reference to other sources is which contain complete detail information detailed drawings detailed drawings in detailed drawings what will come single part drawings collective single part drawings will be coming so we'll be eliminating option d and option b but which gives complete detail information to enable a single component to be manufactured single part drawings because in collective part drawings is the other definition will be go in collective single part drawings there will be slight difference between some dimensions such as we'll be manufacturing so uh, three to four shafts and will be differed by the same, uh, some dimensions slight diameters that will be co coming under collective single part drawings so the drawings which give complete the detailed information to enable a single component to be manufactured without reference to the other sources is single part drawings so i'm going with option a Question number twelve: The drawings were used. Drawings used one where one or two dimensions of a component are variable and others are standard is called. It's definitely not single part drawings. We know that it can't be a collective assembly drawing because no assembly word is given. So none of these cannot be. So we'll be going with collective single part drawings. I told you, they will be slightly differed in some dimensions. Little dimension, the little dimension difference will be there in components. That components are coming under collective single part drawings. Question number thirteen. The drawings which shows a complete product with all its components in their correct physical relationship is called assembly drawings. We know this because detailed drawing shows how to make a just a part, how to make a part of a uh, assembly of a big component, but which shows the physical relation how that uh, how that uh, product should be joined how how a shaft should be going inside a hole that all be given in assembly drawings so we'll be going with assembly drawings question number 14 what are the types of assembly drawings there are two types of assembly drawings single part assembly drawings collective part assembly drawings so we'll be i'm going with both a and b that is option number c the drawings which contain that is fifteenth question. The drawings which contain the information to be built a single sub assembly or an assembly is called a single sub assembly. The word is given single sub assembly, single sub assembly or an assembly. So I am going with option A. The drawings provide the drawings provide which of the following information part list. Option B, weight. Option C, overall dimensions. Option D, all of this. All of the information will be provided in assembly drawings. So we'll be going with option D, all of the above. The drawings which shows an assembly with a part list and the details of the parts on one drawings is called question number seventeen. 
the drawings will show an assembly there's therefore it will be definitely assembly drawings must be there and with the part list and the details so details and assembly both are coming so we can't go we can't go with one that is detail drawings or assembly drawings so we it will be definitely combined drawings that comes under the third category combined drawings we can't go with all of these because detail drawings and assembly drawings are specific and combined drawings is third part which can that is that contains assembly along with detail so we have to go be choosing assembly i'm sorry combined drawings not all of the above all of the above cannot be coming because detail drawings and assembly drawings definitely come under combined drawings so we will be going with combined drawings what are the main types of main types of dimensions there are functional dimensions auxiliary dimensions option b non functional dimensions option c auxiliary dimensions both are all the three are the main types of dimensions there are three main types of dimension that is the functional dimension non functional dimension the auxiliary function auxiliary dimension so we'll be going with option d all the above the dash is the size of a shaft or hole that the design specifies before applying the limits to it option num question number b the dash is the size of the shaft or hole that the design specifies before applying the limits to it that is basic and nominal size so i am going with option number c option number c any one any one of these the systems used for specifying shaft hole or tolerance is basic hole system basic shaft system both a and b the question is to say shaft and hole so both should be coming basic hole system and basic shaft system so i'm going with option number b both a and b next question 21 the dash represents the tightness or looseness resulting from the application of tolerance to mating parts that is shafts and holes definitely surface finish cannot be coming tolerance cannot be coming because application of tolerance that is not uh, that cannot be tolerance it cannot be option a and option b should be right but the correct definition here is uh, representing fits limits is uh, above some certain limit we can't uh, take that uh, if if the marker is of some diameter diameter and above that it cannot go that is called limits but the correct tightness or looseness will be using while making a shy hole on a uh, object will be using standard uh, drill ma drilling machine or reaming machine so a standard application standard size must be there that size will be representing by fitness fit the fit represents the tightness or looseness resulting from the application of tolerance okay question number 22 dash is the depth of irregularities of a uh, surface resulting from the manufacturing process used to produce it depth of irregularities of a surface that the word itself surface is there so we will be going with surface finish option number 8 we'll be going with surface finish option number 8 the fits are generally classified as question number 23 the fits are generally classified as clearance fit transition fit Uh, interface uh, interference fit all the three will be there there are the three types of fits so we'll be going with any one of the above the types of geometrical tolerancing are straightness tolerancing position tolerancing flatness tolerances they all are there so we'll be going with all the above the basic types of surface regular irregularities that can be occur are form error roughness wavingness all the all are the types of surface irregularities so we'll be going with any one of the above all of the above thanks guys this is uh, mcqs from unit 1 of process planning and cost estimation subscribe the channels for more mcqs thank you guys bye